करुणापुर बाबा के चेचा मने घोरा मन जागे ಪ್ರಾಹಚೆ ಕಥ ಸಮೋಹಲ ಸಾಥೆ ಚೇಲ ನಾಘರ ಪ್ರಾಚೇ ತಾಯಿ ಭಜಲ ಕೋ ಘನ ಘನ ತಾಯಿ ಚೇರ ಥಾಯಿ ಥಾಯಿ ಭಜಲ ಘನ ಘನ ಥಾಯಿ ಚಾಂಚೇರ ಪ್ರೇಮೆಲ್ಲ ಸೋನಾರ ಪುರ ಪ್ರೇಮೆ ದಲ್ಲ ಸೋನಾರ ಶರಣು ಪುರ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಯಾದವ ಹರಿ ಭೋಲೆ ನ ಬೋಲ ರೇ ಬಂಧನ ಬೋರಿ ಬಸೆ ಚಲ ರೆ ರಾತಿ ಶಾರಿ ರಿ ಬಸೆ ಚಲ ರೆ ರಾತಿ ಶಾರಿ ರ ಮಾನ ದುರ್ಲಭ ಮಾನವ ದೇಹಿ ಕೋರ ಪಾವನ ಕೋರ ಭಾವನ ಕೇ ಹೋ 
विद्या थे मेरा था पान रूपे गणेराजे नाम सुरा खोरियापान युरो बखाति विनोद प्राण कृष्ण नाम सुरा खोरियापान Yura bhakati vinoda pran Krishna namaha uriya pran Yura bhakati vinoda pran Nama binati chunahi kwara Chora bhuvana mahaji Nama binati chunahi बिना किचु नही कुआरा चौरा भुवन महजे जीव जागो जीव जागो Gora chanda bole Jeevi chako, jeevi chako Gora chanda bole Jeev chako, jeev chako Gora chanda bole Chayo maya Pesha chira kole Otani chaya o maya Pesha chira kole Otani dra chayo maya Pesha chira kole बाजी बोबलिया ऐसे समसारा बिचारे बाजी बोबलिया ऐसे समसारा बिचारे तुम्हारे लोए थे आमी 
Aino Batara Ami bin a bandu ar ke ate to mara Ami bin a Shari Maya Nashi Paralagi Nashi Shari Maya Nashi Paralagi Nama Maha Mantra Lo to me Mahagi Hari Nama Mantra Lo to me Mahagi Hari Nama Maha Mantra Lo to me Mahagi Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Pariya Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Pariya Bhakati Vinoda Prabhu Charane Pariya Lai la magiya Se hari nama mantra Lai la magiya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim 
Sarasatimbiasam Medim Sarasatimbiasam Tato Jayamudirayat Tato Jayamudirayat Nesta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nesta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki Bhakti Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 11, Chapter number 27. Lord Krishna instructs Uddhava in the process of deity worship. Text number seven. Vaidikas. Tantriko, Tantriko Mishra, Mishra Iti Me, Iti Me Trivido, Trivido Maka, Maka Trayanam, Trayanam Ipsite Neva Ipsite Neva Sorry Wait, no, just my Vidina, Vidina Mam, Mam Samacharat, Samacharat Vaidikas Tantrika Mishra Vaidikas Tantrika Mishra Vaidikas Tantrika Mishra Vaidikas Tantrika Mishra Iti me trivido maka Iti me trivido maka Iti me trivido maka Iti me trivido maka Trayanam ipsite naiva Trayanam ipsite naiva Trayanam ipsite naiva Vidinamam samacharin charit Vidinamam samacharit Vidinamam samacharit Vidinamam samacharit Vaidikas tantriko mishra Vaidikas tantriko mishra Iti me trivido maka Iti me trivido maka Trayanam ipsita naiva Trayanam ipsita naiva Vidinamam samarcharit Vidinamam samarcharit Vaidikas Tantriko Mishra Vaidikas Tantriko Mishra Iti me trivido maka Iti me trivido maka Trayanam ipsita naiva Trayanam ipsita naiva Vidinamam samarcharit Vidinamam samarcharit Vaidiksha Tantriko Mishra Vaidiksha Tantriko Mishra Iti Metri Veto Makaha Iti Metri Veto Makaha Trayanam Ipsitam Ipsitam Naiva Trayanam Ipsitam Naiva Vaidinama Samarchari Vidikas Tantriko Mishra 
Anybody else? Jessica? Why is it cast tan chico mistra? Why is it cast tan chico mistra? It is me chivito mataha. It is me chivito mataha. Chaya nam isite naiwa. Chaya nam isite naiwa. Shashi Lila, Shashi, Shashi Khan, Bobe. Vaiti Kastanche Gomisha, Vaiti Kastanche Gomisha, Iti Metri Vedo Makaha, Iti Metri Vedo Makaha, Trayanam ipitsitenaiva Trayanam ipitsitenaiva Okay, yes. ไวติคัสทาเชโคมิชังไวติคัสทาเชโคมิชังอิทิมิเชเวตุมะคะอิทิเนเชเวตุมะคะชายานัมอิปิเตนายวาทรายานัมอิปิเตนายวาเบทาน
Eva. Eva. Certainly. Certainly. Vidina. Vidina. By the process. By the Mum. Me. Me. Samar Charet. One should properly worship. Translation. One should carefully worship me by selecting one of the three methods by which I receive sacrifice, Vedic, Tantra or mixed. 以文,人应该小心谨慎地选择我凭其接受祭祀的三种方法之一,为达经,贪彻经和二者兼而有之的经典。Purport, Vedika refers to sacrifice performed with mantras from the four Vedas and auxiliary, auxiliary Vedic literature. Tantrika refers to such literatures as the Pancha, Pancharatra and the Gautama, Gautama Tantra and mixed indicates utilization of both literatures. It should be under it should be remembered that superficial imitation of elaborate Vedic sacrifices will not bring one the actual perfection of life. One must perform sacrifice according to the prescription of the Supreme Lord, who recommends for this age the chanting of the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 要旨, Vaidika指的是 施行祭祀时运用四维达经和维达文献补充物的mantra 贪彻经指的是 Pancharatra和高他米亚贪彻等文献混合物按指运用这两种文献应该牢记专魔宗要施行精细复杂的维达祭祀不能把人带入生命的真正完美境界人必须按照至尊主的指令施行祭祀 他把唱诵他的圣名推荐给这个年代。哈利·克里斯纳·哈利·克里斯纳·克里斯纳·克里斯纳·哈利·哈利·哈利·拉玛·哈利·拉玛·拉玛·拉玛·哈利·哈利·
Vanchakaupatarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhaye Vacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're hearing Lord Krishna instruct Uddhava on the process of deity worship. So he's describing all different kinds of worship. He's beginning here to talk about Vedic sacrifices. So the Vedas deal with the the major portion of the Vedas is describing different kinds of sacrifices which people can perform. And so it described in the purport here that this is simply giving material benefit. So in the Bhagavad Gita it says Trigunya Vishaya Veda, nice Trigunya Bhavarjuna. Lord Krishna is saying to Arjuna that the Vedas deal with the subject matter of the three modes of material nature and one should rise above the modes and be transcendental to them. Krishna tells Arjuna that the Vedas are the three modes of material of course, the Vedic knowledge was eternal. Tene Brahma Ridaya Adikavaye Muyanti Yatsuraya. The Srimad Bhagavatam tells us that the Vedic knowledge was imparted into the heart of Lord Brahma. So the Vedic knowledge is what we call Shruti, meaning the, from the process of hearing. And there are a class of philosophers who only accept the Shruti. They will never agree to it, accept the, any other scriptures except the four Vedas. Didn't, people didn't want to accept the anything else except the Vedas. So we we accept the the Vedas and we accept the the Smriti also. The Smriti means Bhagavad Gita and the Bhagavatam and the Puranas, they are all Smriti. The only book which Prabhupada gave us from the Shruti was the Ishopanishad. All of the Upanishads are part of the Vedas. They are from the, the Vedas. So they are part of the Shruti. So the Vedic path describing a lot of different rituals which some people give great importance to. And Srila Vyasadeva also gave a lot of importance to these things 
when he was comp when he was writing his Puranas, which are the supplements to the Vedas. When Shila Vyasadeva wrote his Purana, uh, Bhagavad Shu, Bhagavad Shu is Vedas Jing's supplement to the Vedas. He also emphasized these rituals. He was talking about performing different rituals, doing this, doing many different sacrifices, and performing material duties. He emphasized the. 强调了举行祭祀、举行这些仪式、各式各样的仪式、履行责任。But after he had compiled all of those literatures, he was not satisfied. 但是当当他写完这些文献的时候，他内心并不满意。And why was he not satisfied? That was explained to him by his spiritual master Narada Muni. 他之所以不满意的原因呢，他的灵性导师拿达穆尼就向他解释了。He had not properly glorified the process of devotional service and the absolute position of Lord Sri Krishna. 他没有正确的嗯荣耀奉爱服务的方法，也没有正确的嗯强调 Krishna 的地位。Just like if you go through Mahabharata, you may find Mahabharata. Interesting tells a lot of stories. There's a lot of interesting events taking place, but it doesn't give a lot about Lord Krishna. 就像《马哈巴尔塔》这部书当中有各式各样的情节，有许多的嗯嗯细节，但是并没有说提到很多 Krishna 的事情。The position of Lord Krishna is covered up by all of the different events which are being described. Krishna 的地位呢就被马哈巴尔塔中的各式各样的情节事件覆盖了。Although the Bhagavad Gita is there in the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita is not given very much importance. 虽然在马哈巴尔塔当中也有薄伽梵歌，但是薄伽梵歌呢被没并没有被人们所强调重视。Mm, people like to hear. Different pastimes, different stories, events which are taking place. They they like to hear about different yagyas. 人们特别喜欢，呃，着迷于巴哈巴尔的当中的各种各样的故事、情节、细节，以及其中描述的各式各样的火计。And then Lord Krishna comes along and speaks the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. People are not so much interested to hear that. Ah, 最后当主 Krishna 来给阿珠娜讲《波伽梵歌》的时候呢，人们对此却不感兴趣了。So nobody gets love of God. Nobody will get love of God by reading Mahabharata. 所以读了《马哈巴尔塔》，没有人能够得到对神的爱。Nobody is going to get Krishna prem from the Mahabharata. 从《马哈巴尔塔》当中呢，人们也得不到 Krishna prem。You may learn a lot about the history of what's go, what's taking place, who are the different kings, and what events have taken place, great sages. You get all that information. People from this book get all kinds of information about the kings, 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 and their kingdoms. Just like that. But you're not going to get attraction to Krishna. So the whole purpose of bhakti yoga is to develop Krishna consciousness. Bhakti yoga, 奉爱瑜伽的目的是为了发展 Krishna 知觉 We want to become very attached to Krishna. We want to become absorbed in hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna. 我们希望能够依附 Krishna， 能去聆听、唱诵 Krishna 的荣耀。But if we spend all of our time doing these different rituals, then we can forget. We we, we become attached to all of these things. 但是如果我们把时间精力都花在这些仪式上，我们可能就忘记真正的真正的事物了。Just like it happened when Lord Krishna was present on the planet five thousand years ago. 就像主 Krishna 五千年前降临地球的时候所发生的事情。Lord Krishna was with the cowherd boys one morning, and they hadn't taken their breakfast, and they were feeling hungry. And, and so there were people, there were these Brahmins nearby doing a Vedic yagya. 一天清晨，主 Krishna 和牧牛童们在一起。
他们没有吃早餐，他们感到饥肠辘辘。嗯，然后旁边呢，旁边的村子有一群婆罗门布拉玛纳正在举行伟达的祭祀仪式。So they were doing this Vedic yagya, and they had a lot of different. Their wives had prepared many different foodstuffs to be offered in the yagya. 他们的妻子呢，就准备了各式各样的精美的食物，准备供奉在亚亚中做供奉。So the cowherd boys were there with Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram, and they were feeling hungry, and they thought, "Oh, they said to Krishna, 'Can we go? Can we go and ask these brahmanas to give some of their food for our breakfast?'" 啊，母牛头呢，跟巴拉拉玛和 Krishna 在一起，然后当他们就是知道旁边的这些。嗯，婆罗门的祭祀仪式以及是精美的食物的时候，他们就哀求 Krishna 说：“嗯，我们能不能恳求他们给我们些吃的 ？”So Lord Krishna said, "Well, you can try." Lord Krishna is omniscient; he knows everyone, and he knew what was going to happen. But anyway, he said, "Well, yeah, if you like, if you want to go there, you can go and try." 因为主 Krishna 是无所不知的。他知道会发接下来会是什么样的结果，所以他就是这样，嗯，这样就是跟木牛童说，哎，你们试一试呗。So the cowherd boys went over to where the brahmanas were doing the yagya, and they said, "Dear brahmanas, who are head of who are the head of the social body, they said Lord Krishna is nearby with Lord Balaram." And they're both very hungry. They've not taken any breakfast. Could you give some of your foodstuffs for them? These cowherd boys came to these brahmanas' face and said, "Our dear brahmanas, you are the head of the social body. Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram are near you. They have not eaten breakfast. Can you give them some food to eat?" So the brahmanas just totally ignored them. They didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they didn't even look at them. They didn't say a word. These brahmanas, they So the cowherd boys went back to see Lord Krishna, and they were very disappointed. They were very despondent. They thought we failed. We couldn't get anything from them. These cowherd boys just, with two hands empty, went back to Krishna. They felt very disappointed. They thought they were going to fail. And Lord Krishna told them that. They felt very disappointed. And Lord Krishna told them that. Well, you have to understand that's the nature of begging. When you go begging, don't expect that every time people will give you. So Krishna 就安慰木牛童说，哎呀，你们要知道这个祈祷的本本质就是这样。当你们去祈祷的时候，你们有的时候会能够祈祷到食物，有的时候祈祷不到。Of course, begging is not allowed in the place. Places like Hong Kong and、uh, the Western world, America and UK, you're not allowed to do begging. That's a crime. They will arrest you. In 香港、美国、纽约、美国、伦敦这样的国家，乞讨是被禁止的。呃，倘若谁要是行乞，警察就会把他们逮捕。But generally, it was a custom that brahmanas could go every day and beg. 但是按在传统上呢 ，Brahmana 他们可以四处去行乞。And they they would maintain their lives just simply by begging. Brahmana 是靠乞乞讨来维生的。But of course, there were some Brahmanas they didn't beg. 当然，有一些 Brahmana 他们不会去乞讨。Like Sudama Brahmana, he had a wife, but did no food. But still, he wouldn't go and beg. Like Sudama Brahmana, he has a wife. He has no food, but he doesn't go to beg. He was thinking, well, if we get food, we will eat. If we don't get food, we will just starve. He will say, 
。如果我们得到食物，那我们就吃；如果没有食物，我们就挨饿。Similarly, Shrivas, Shrivas Pandit in the Pancha Tattva, Gada, Jat Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadarhar Shrivas Adi. So Shrivas was a Brahmana, and he lived with his brothers. There were four brothers. They lived together with their families, and they just lived by begging. Sometimes they would beg, sometimes nothing. They would just depend on Krishna. Like the five brothers in the Shri Vas, he and his other four brothers, they were also they were also beggars. They they sometimes would beg, sometimes not. They would just depend on Krishna. So Lord Chaitanya asked Shrivas. He said, "How do, how can you maintain yourself, Shrivas? You know you have a family to support. What will you do if you have no food?" Lord Chaitanya asked Shrivas, "Um, Shrivas, you have a family to support. If you don't get food, how can you maintain their life?" And Shrivas said, "I will simply clap my hands three times." And if there's nothing, I'll throw myself in the Ganges. Oh, Shrivas 就说，我就这么拍三下，拍拍掌，拍三下。如果没有什么也没有的话，我就投投到，我就投河，投恒河当中。But by the grace of the Lord, I always have enough. 但是急着主的仁慈，我总是有充足的食物。The Lord is providing everything we need. 主会提供。So Lord Krishna told the cowherd boys that, you know, when you go for begging, don't expect that everybody will give you. Lord Krishna 就告诫牧牛童说，当你们去乞讨的时候，不要指望每个人都能给你们食物。Sometimes you may get, sometimes you won't. 有的时候你们可以得到食物，有的时候你们得不到。So you see the Buddhist monks. They generally live by begging. 嗯嗯，我们看到呢，佛教的和尚呢，就是靠乞讨为生的。Of course, I see sometimes now they will just stand with their bowl. They will stand in the marketplace, and people will come, and people come. They know to put some food in the bowl to give something. 他们有的呃佛教的和尚呢，就站在那个市场上，他们手里拿着一个钵、一个碗，人们呢就会经过的时候往里头放一些食物。They won't even ask; they just stand and. 哦，他们也不开口说话，他们就是站在那里。But in the Vedic culture, the Brahmanas some sometimes they will go and request, please give some dakshin, give some charity. 但是在伟达文化当中呢，布拉姆呢，他们有的时候会开口乞讨说：“请给我一些 dakshina， 一些食物或者一些金钱。” So Lord Krishna tried to console the cowherd boys that, you know, don't worry, they didn't give you anything, but he said, go to their wives and ask them. 主 Krishna 就安慰这些牧牛童说：“你们不要失望。” So the cowherd boys thought, well, we can try. Yes, let's go and ask the brahmana's wives. These cowherds said, "That's good. We're going to go and ask the brahmana's wives." And when the cowherd boys went there and told the brahmana's wives, these brahmana's wives are called the the yagna patnis. And if you sing that song, Jai Rati, Jai Krishna, Jai Vrindavan, then it mentions about the yagna patnis, the wives of the brahmanas who are doing the yagya. These brahmanas' wives are called the yagya patni. In the Jai Rati, Jai Krishna, Jai Vrindavan song, it mentions about the yagya patni, which means the wives of the brahmanas who are doing the yagya. So these ladies. They heard that Lord Krishna was coming. 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 They heard that Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram are there, and they're hungry. And they said, "What? Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram? Ooh!" And they all immediately grabbed all the food 
and they came running to go to Krishna and Balaram to bring food to them. So these ladies, they had heard about Krishna before because, you know, ladies, they go to market, they buy the vegetables and so in the market they would hear about Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram and the wonderful pastimes which they're performing in Vrindavan. So when they heard that Krishna, Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram were there, well, they thought what an opportunity and they were so eager to come and offer all the foodstuffs to them. They didn't even want to go back. They wanted to stay there forever with Krishna and Balaram. But Lord Krishna sent them back. He said, no, no, you should go back. Your husbands will accept you. They will not reject you. But so the husbands, they were doing the yagya, but they were not blessed with devotion to Krishna. And they were thinking, how is it our wives have so much devotion for Krishna? They never studied any scriptures. They never went to the ashram and did austerities. They've never practiced celibacy. They've, they've, they just do, they're just ordinary simple women. How is it they have got so much attraction for Krishna? And we are doing the Vedic Yagyas, we have done all these things, we studied all the mantras, we chanted all the prayers, we did all the Yagya, and we have no devotion. Mm -hmm. So, the we, we understand from this pastime that the Vedic yagyas, they don't help us to get love of God. But if we chant the Hare Krishna mantra, then very quickly you can get love for Krishna. But you have to get the mantra from the proper source. If you, have to, if you get the mantra from some uh, other people who are not devotees, then it will not have the effect. Just, just like milk touched by the lips of a serpent has a poisonous effect. So the same way, if you get the mantra, you may get the Hare Krishna mantra, but if you get it from Mayavadis or some other speculators, Gyanis, then you will not get the real result of the chanting. So that you have to get the mantra from the bona fide source through the channel of the devotee disciplic succession. So the real the real sacrifice 
the real yajna in the Kali Yuga is Hari Nam Sankirtan. In Kali Yuga, the real yajna is Hari Nam Sankirtan. The real, the chanting of the holy names. That is the ultimate sacrifice in the Kali Yuga. Chanting the holy names is Kali Yuga's ultimate sacrifice. But we want to chant. Also, we have to be careful to chant without offense. 但是如果我们想要恒常的能够念诵圣名的话，必须要小心的没有冒犯的念诵。We have to chant with care and attention. 必须小心翼翼的念诵。Okay, so we'll stop here. Ask if there's any questions. 我们就讲到正课讲到这里，这有没有问题？ Any comment, Chandrasekhar Prabhu? Yes. Uh, uh, just now I mentioned that Shiva's clap his hand three times and there will be food coming. So how does it come happen? No, it wasn't that just because he clapped his hands three times, but he said, he, he was saying that he just simply depends on Krishna. And the idea of clapping, he was clapping his hands three times, the, take to just that pass pass some time and if the, in that time there's uh, there's nothing there no food then there's no more point to him maintaining his life oh.就呃拍三下手的意思就是说在拍三下手的这个呃时间里头如果没有食物嗯没有食物自动到来的话那么他就嗯他他就没有必要 because in those days, 500 years ago in in Bengal and places like Mayapur, the brahmanas were always maintained by the other people. 五百年前在马普，呃，婆罗门，他们是被其他的阶层所维系着的。They were always looked after. By the Vaishya people and by the other Kshatriyas, they were always given everything they need. Vaishya caste, and Kshatriya caste, they would give everything. There was there was no hoarding. There was no scarcity. Of course, people were living more in the countryside. There were not not so much cities in those days. In that time, there were no cities. They were living in the countryside. People lived in the countryside, and they all had some land. And with some land, they could grow some food. In the same time, they had land. It's only in these times that people have come to cities and factories have been built, and we create so many unnecessary things. 只是在当今年代呢，有那么多人们纷纷涌入大城市，然后还有这么多的工厂生产出这些人们不需要的、没有必要的东西。What we really need is just some land to grow some food, and they can keep a cow. You can get some milk. And you can have all your needs by the gifts of nature. We have given so much importance to technology. 我们现在特别的重视科技, 
but the technology cannot go on forever. They're always trying to increase and to develop the technology further and further. But they will reach a limit. They will reach a limit where they're not able to go any further. And then all the everything will become useless again. And people will be looking for where is jobs? They have no work, they have no job. And nobody knows how to grow food anymore. Because they've only been working in the factories. They, for, they don't know how to go in the garden, how to go in the, in the land and to grow vegetables. So in the future, these things can become very big problems. So we don't want to be caught in that trap. We want to be ready. We want to be able to grow food. We should know how to take care of the land. So even here in Hong Kong, with the Hong Kong devotees have taken a piece of land and they're arranging that some devotee is going there regularly and cultivating the land and growing vegetables. Mm, and we can grow our own vegetables without having to depend on all the other people. Everybody else just uses chemicals and fertile, all kinds of contaminated things to grow their vegetables. So we want to get pure things and offer the best to Krishna. We have some devotees, some devotees they will say, I will only eat whatever you've grown yourself. I don't want to eat any food which you bought in the market. I only want to eat food which you've grown yourself. 有些奉献者，他们就会对那个呃农户商家说：“我只吃就是你们自己亲自种的，不吃你们从别的渠道哎采购的。”嗯，嗯，so if you go some places, you you won't get anything to eat. Everybody is just eating what they buy in the supermarket, what they buy in the store. Nobody is growing anything for themselves. Hardly any. You don't find people growing food for themselves. Very rare. Now, I find people who grow food for themselves. Very rare. Now, I find people who grow food for themselves. Very rare. Now, I find people who grow food for themselves. Very rare. Now, I find people who grow food but still, people don't do it. Because they built factories everywhere. The factories and apartments, so many buildings, apartments everywhere. Just like Guangzhou, Guangdong, there's a lot of nice farming land there. Twenty years ago, thirty years ago, there used to be so many nice gardens there, people growing vegetables. Now all you see is factories everywhere. 
，在广东呢，二十二十年前、三十年前，都有很好的这个田地，人们会自己种植蔬菜水果。但是现在呢，广东呢，也都遍地都是工厂了，工业化了。嗯。So we want to depend on nature. Depending on nature means also de depending on Krishna. So we hope to be able to depend on nature. Depending on nature means also depending on Krishna. We don't want to depend on science and technology. We don't want to depend on science and technology. Okay. Brahman的妻子，他们都不修行啊，不做祭祀的。我想问，以前的是以前年代的，是是他们的那些妇女不不修行的，还是这一般的不修修行？还有他们的这妻子有没有资格？就是他娶了一个妻子，他是属于娶
what happens, women go to work and they work in the multinational office at big companies, they work with all the men. It's not very good for them. Uh they have they associate with all other men, not just with their husbands, but with all kinds of other men. So there was no question of divorce. No, 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 never, no just never happened. Because the women didn't see other men. So women were protected and looked after. But the modern society, women go to work. They say, Nan Nu Ping Dang. But Prabhupada said they're not equal. Prabhupada said, not equal because it's a woman who has the baby. The man doesn't get the baby. It's a woman who gets the baby. She gets pregnant. She has to have a bit as a baby. So this idea that men and women are equal, this is actually cheating the women. Women are thinking, oh yeah, we're equal to the men. We, are, we go to work. Women also have to go to work. Mm -hmm. The man goes to work and the woman also goes to work. Nobody at home. Nobody taking care of the children. Nobody to cook. What happens? People eat outside. They eat all junk food. So the modern society is just a mess. It's all chaotic. People are not properly taken care of or looked after. But people are thinking, no, this is modern living. So we learn a lot from the past. Uh of course you, you cannot just bring turn turn everything back, you know, you can't just go back to the old system. But at least we can see how the examples which are there and how things were in many ways better than they are today. So we're trying to learn from these things from the the past. Mm. Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai.